Through the icy whiteness, marked by the blood red fire, sacred alchemy, I am the answer to my own question. Neither Eve, nor Helen, nor Mary, nor even Sophia, I am all of them and more. I give birth to myself. I found myself in exile. Cast away from all I knew and stripped of all I was. I was a stranger. Birthdays gone, holidays unspoken, memories wiped clean. Pushed out of the family name, I even began becoming a stranger to myself. Because if I am not who they said I was to be, then surely I must be nothing. And with this thought, I fell. I fell out of who I was. I fell out of who I dreamed to be. I fell deeper in the darkness. I fell deeper in a depth. And I couldn't get back up. It was as if there was no strength for me to get up on my own. And at that low, he found me. And I was trapped. Trapped in the need for love from someone who didn't love me. Trapped in the hope that he would be faithful to me. Trapped in the fear of another one of his bad nights. Those dark nights that would leave me more broken and beaten than the night before that he swore were just mistakes. That slap across the face was just a mistake. That shove into the wall was just a mistake. Well, I am trapped in mistakes. And I spent my days wandering. I stopped everything I needed to do in life to fix the unfixable with him, reliving the same ar argument as if I'm addicted to heartbreak. I still gave it all until there was nothing left for me. And with no energy to find my direction, I just wandered farther off from reality. I no longer wished to succeed. I no longer wanted to try. I no longer cared about anything because I could not escape my reality. That I was trapped trying to please him because I had no one else. I had wandered too far from them all. And then it was our final bad night. And I will never forget how hopeless I felt being pinned on a bed with him hurting me. Recognizing that there was no love in his eyes and realizing there really never was. The last 
last time I saw his face was when he was staring right into my eyes and watched as breath escaped me. I passed out. When I woke up, I was in a hospital bed and at this moment I realized I was alone again. But it didn't feel like an exile this time. It felt like I escaped, like I had won my life, which changed me. From then on, I swore I would never feel that hopeless again. I will never give anyone that much power over me again. And for a while, I was just working hard for myself. I was building something. And then someone reached out to me and believed in me. They gave me an opportunity, and I took it without a second thought. And I left the town I knew, and to this day, never looked back. Even though this story was filled with loss, heartbreak, and abuse, it is the story of transformation, my transformation, because I am not a desperate woman. I am Eve, I am Mary, I am Helen, and I am Sophie.